Hello guys, welcome back. In the previous video, we wrote this piece of code for our personal assistant and we tested it. So let me run it again to see what we got. Hello sir. I'm your personal assistant. Please tell how may I help you? It can convert text to speech, but the only problem is that it's speaking too fast. So let's fix it. <laughs> So, let's start fixing it by creating a variable inside function speak. I'll call it rate. We'll say that rate is equal to engine and we'll get a property from that and call it rate. Now, we'll set a property. Call the right and give it a value. I'm going with 140. Alright, we only need these two lines of code. Let's see how it's gonna be. Hello, sir. I'm your personal assistant. Please tell how may I help you? Now it's very slow. Let me change the value to 185. I think it's gonna be okay. Hello, sir. I'm your personal assistant. Please tell me how may I help you? I guess I wrote something wrong here. So let me correct it right now. Hello, sir. I'm your personal assistant. Please tell me how may I help you? Alright, now it's time for us to create our main function which will be responsible for running the code as loop. I'll remove this one from here and start creating the main function. I'll call the function greeting and say while is true, it should do certain things. So I'll call the variable command and give it the data from the function take command. Now I'll say if we say something and that is in the variable command, then it should be able to perform a task. I'll say if on the lamp is in the command, then it will speak something and send a signal to our Arduino board for turning on the lamp. And if off is in the command or off the lamp is in the command, then it should it should do the same thing. Okay, we are almost done with the code. The only thing I'll add is another elif statement to tell our personal assistant to quit running the code. So I'll say if offline is in the command then it should be able to quit. Well, we finished writing the code in Python. Now I'll check the port where my Arduino is connected so that our personal assistant can be able to find it. So, um, on your Arduino ID, go on Tools, select the board, and check the port here. As you can see, mine is connected to this one. Now I'll go back on VS Code and enter this port. Alright, I already entered the port, now I can test everything. Hello sir, I'm your personal assistant. 
Please tell me how may I help you. Turn on the lamp. Turn on the lamp. Turning on the lamp. Now turn off the lamp. Turning off the lamp. Can you please turn on the lamp? Turning on the lamp. Okay, now I want you to turn off the lamp. Turning off the lamp. Okay, go offline. Okay, sir. See you next time. Well, as we can see, our personal assistant is working very well. It can now control our Arduino board by voice command. In the next video, I'll test everything at the same time. I will control the lamp using the personal assistant and our Android app. If you feel like adding some new features on your personal assistant, feel free to do it. So guys, this is all for today. See you next time.